Hi, this is Charlie Lowndes with a, a short video podcast looking at Audacity and how to use the zoom and horizontal scroll controls. I've loaded up a little sound clip. Um, you might not be able to hear it terribly well because uh, it's got to go from my speakers into my microphone, but uh, there's some sound here, trust me. And that made him very bright. And people say, well, there aren't many policemen who post. So there's some sound. It's actually an interview with an author about her character, Adam Dalgleish. It's the author's voice is P.D. James. Um, this was from a, a quiz, Guess the, Guess the Sound, I think it was. Um, but we want to look at the zoom control. I use the little magnifying glass with the plus. And note that um, when we started, we had a second taking up, um, I don't know, maybe about a centimeter on my screen. Um, when I zoom in, that second expands, and when I zoom in again, it expands even more. So now uh, we've really got just a small amount of sound. To, to move the sample view in the window, I've got a horizontal scroller down the bottom here. And it may seem a bit obscure, but it does. It, you can persuade it to show up a bit better. Um, let's scroll to the very beginning and see if we can identify the very first word. I think I do to the extent that... I think I'd go something. Um, let's see if we can just zoom in on that word I. So I'll highlight it to make life easy for me and just keep pressing zoom. And now when I've got one-tenth of a second spread over a couple of centimeters there, um, I can see the individual oscillations. We'll just zoom in one more time. Those are the pressure waves coming in, being picked up by the microphone in the original recording, um, and being recorded by the software. It's an analog signal, uh, things going up and down, even though it's recorded digitally. What you're hearing when I press play is that sound going out again through a loudspeaker some distance from the microphone and coming back in again, so hence it's a bit muffled. I and that's the I with just the beginning of a th, um, I think. So it's interesting how um, the wiggling away on the right is just the beginnings of a soft th sound. I th. I th. Um, if I tighten that up a little bit and just play that, I th. that's just the I without the th. So this little wiggle here is the th, perhaps. <laughs> Too small to hear. Uh, we need to expand that a bit. Yes, it's very, very difficult. Unless we were forensic scientists trying to track down individual syllables, um, that's a fairly fruitless exercise. But uh, if we highlight both words... I think. I think, or I thin, anyway. Um, we can have a lot of fun with that, but really the point was just to show you that there are zoom controls, and having zoomed uh, into a small scale, we can zoom back out again and see a rather more sensible sample and play it. I think I do to the extent that... Um, and I've also shown you the horizontal scroll bar down the bottom uh, which allows us to move along and keep track of where things are by noting if we knew that there was something at 30 seconds that we were interested in uh, we can scroll back and forth to the 30 seconds and play it. Where did she come from? So that's a question from a different voice, the interviewer. Um, that's probably enough for the time being. We've looked at the zoom controls up here, the magnifying glasses with plus and minus, and we've looked at the horizontal scroll bar down the bottom of the editing window.